Hello everyone and welcome back to Veluwe Zoo. And as you can see today's episode is a little bit different. No gameplay at the start um, for pretty good reason. I completely forgot to record it before I started building. And uh, this uh, live stream was actually planned so we built this live on Twitch. So uh, yeah, I just didn't have the time to do it and... Of course we are going to finish off the Africa section and as you can see it's quite a long episode still and it's only a speed build. Um, so yeah we are doing quite a lot today. We are adding a habitat for the ostrich and the warthog together in one happy place and we will finish off the, um, yeah, the section that we already built in the previous episode. I wasn't really happy with the final look of it with the fencing i already changed the fencing but the fencing that you see on the left at the moment will be removed and uh, everything looks much better at the end you will uh, you will see it in the end of the video of course uh, so if you are here and enjoying the video make sure you hit the like button and if you are not subscribed yet make sure you do so you won't miss out on anything new and yeah in the meantime we started on the um the viewing area that we have over here i actually just wanted a simple one uh but the viewers on the on twitch told me yeah you should make a building that is a combined viewing space for both uh, the wild dog and this new wild dog and ostrich habitat so we're doing that right now i'm um, making a little bit of a, a railing so people uh, yeah don't have the feel to knock on the glass at the when uh, when they are in here and on the other side we will basically do the exact same thing so we will copy this um yeah it's basically the same style as we have already in this zoo so basically this is um yeah inspired by the monorail station that we did by the jeep station that we already did it's uh, the same roof as we have over there um this one didn't fit so i'm trying to uh, make it a little bit bigger and move it around a little bit and it uh, it's looking perfect so yeah the same style all over this place i'm really sticking with the modern theme in this africa section um, it, it's just a little bit of a twist so normally yeah you, what you would see in an africa section is uh, yeah a lot of uh, wood and um, yeah i don't know africa stuff and we are not doing that of course otherwise it's not fairly zoo, right um yeah this fencing on the left i I do copy it right here, but in the end I will remove it uh, because it looks weird over there and we will finish it up uh, looking a little bit better, of course. So yeah, as I told you, this uh, was all built live on Twitch. We finally made it. We are now a Twitch affiliate. If you're not following me over there, make sure you do. There is a link down in the description. We will be live around two or three times a week. I'm really enjoying the live streams. Um, but yeah, whenever I have time, I will go live and we'll be building in either Veluwe Zoo, Borealis Zoo, whatever you want. Uh, it's uh, it's all gonna happen on Twitch for now. Uh, basically because Twitch just has a little bit more to offer for live streaming than YouTube at the moment. And actually quite a lot of new people coming in from Twitch um, to the Discord, to the, to the channel. It's um, yeah, a much better place to grow the channel as well if you're not in the discord by the way make sure you do there is a link down in the description again um, there will be a um, contest going on very soon as well you will also see it on the youtube channel uh, but if you want to um, yeah, be the first one that's updated on that uh, make sure you uh, join the discord so i'm doing some uh, detailing on the viewing area it uh, it was a little bit more work than uh, than expected i wanted to have it like in the perfect position but finally we are starting on the habitat on the back over here i'm making some space for some staff area because the gate for the wild dogs is now at the front and it looks weird so we are moving it to the back and we are connecting the staff building and the staff area to the desert house that is um, on the back of this habitat as you uh, might have already seen I love this fence, so I'm gonna use it all over the place. Uh, this is a fence that we built in a monorail station. We also used it um, all around the Africa section, I think, by now. Um, there was another live stream, by the way, that I actually finished up this entire area. So I did some foliage work, I uh, did some fencing, I uh, made sure everything looked nice. Um, and there will be a little tour video of the Africa section if we. Uh, yeah, once we have finished it so that will probably be 
a few days after this video that we uh, will do a tour and uh, I'm just doing like a 15 20 minute tour around this uh, area because it's quite big we did add quite a lot of animals we have the elephants we have the entire um, uh, safari part of the zoo we have lions we have hyenas there's actually quite a lot going on so we can do a little tour around that because probably we started on it uh, a couple of months ago and then in between we also did the Australia section so you might have forgotten uh, that what we actually did so I think it's good to have you uh, or to give you guys a little update on uh, that um, I'm also still struggling with what I want to do with the next section which is going to be the final section of uh, Vele Zoo and that's actually right behind the entrance building and we discussed it on stream and yeah people yeah are like 50 50 divided on what we have to do with it i always said that i wanted to do a asia section of the zoo and then uh, highly themed with like asian buildings and that kind of stuff um, but also someone mentioned there are absolutely no primates yet in the zoo and that's actually a bit more realistic to have some primates in there than a asia section of the zoo i guess so yeah what i might do is build a big primate house with like uh, gorillas and chimpanzees and some of the other probably bonobos something like that um, so yeah help me decide let me know down in the comments what you would like to see if you would like to see a primate house with um, yeah, a lot of climbing stuff and I don't know whatever you want and also if you have some inspiration pictures for me for a nice house that we can use or a building also let me know uh, join the discord and send it to me over there um, so yeah, you guys can help me decide what we have to do with that section of the zoo. I know I always said we are going to do an Asia section. So yeah, if you're going for Asia, also let me know. Um, because yeah, we didn't do much with that theme at all yet. We, we did Zeusly of course, but that wasn't really like Asian theme. That was again modern. And um, yeah, it's, um, it's good to do something different as well. Of course, we did all the primates in uh, monkey island that was one of the reasons why i didn't start it uh, with these animals yet but it has been so incredibly long that it's uh, it might be time to start doing some primates again but yeah we will see we will see let me know down in the comments and help me decide so in the meantime there are some war talk and a uh, single ostrich in there i actually still have to um, add a few more but uh, i will do that before i uh, I start making screenshots of this uh, of this habitat because again there won't be any cinematics um, if you watch the stream you can see when I press play it really freezes and uh, it's giving me a hard time there are like 250 animals in the zoo at the moment a lot of pieces and uh, I think we reached the limit of what you can build um, without having any struggles in this game it's quite a big zoo though it's almost half of the map I think that we uh, covered by now and uh, as I told you a lot of animals there's like eight months of um, of work in this project so i think it's uh, it, it's pretty good i i played some planet coaster lately i tried to open up some projects and it's uh, it's much much worse than <laughs> than a planet zoo so yeah they did improve uh, a lot on that and uh, yeah hopefully in the future there will be some updates that will make this go a bit smoother again but uh, yeah we will uh, we will see what uh, what will happen uh, these little mud baths over here i wanted to uh, copy it and then uh, make one big one but i can't you can't uh, have overlapping uh, uh what do they call them enrichment items again a word i always forget uh, but that doesn't work so uh, someone on stream sent me some uh, reference images that i could use and um, yeah i was highly inspired by that and i'm finally using some new pieces as well it's always good to uh, discover some things um over here i'm uh, thinking about safety because people could still stick their hands through the fence and uh, will be bitten by the war dogs i think uh, checking the transversible area for the ostrich they um, somehow they are not able to jump over this so uh, yeah the double fencing uh, trick over here to make it look a little bit more realistic and um, yeah i think that that yeah i don't know i like to do uh, some realism it's like a preparation for a next project that we uh, that we want to do i still have something in mind it's going to be like a realistic city zoo and i already decided on the area that it's in it's going to be in scandinavia so we will have a lot of like taiga and uh, 
tundra foliage used. Uh, I think that would be a, a nice twist and something different from from what I've seen so far. But yeah, maybe if I tell it right now, you might have seen some uh, zoos pop up here and there that will do the same. But yeah, we, we will we will see. We're gonna do it anyway and uh, give it our own twist, of course. Uh, some uh, yeah, again some fencing. I'm finally using these temple stone pieces. Actually, I, I've never used those, but I've seen them in uh, quite some screenshots uh, on Reddit and uh, I don't know, stuff like that on Discord. People using them. I, re I really, really like the look of it. Um, I'm removing some because I, I overdid it a little bit, um, sinking it into the ground and also using it in the habitat to make this area look uh, yeah, like the rocks everywhere and mud that is not that clean. So a perfect place for the war dogs to play around and... Uh, have a good time. I will add some foliage. And this part I'm really, really happy with in this habitat. It really looks cool. It's like a playing area for them. You will have the the, um, the viewing gallery right next to it. I think for the guests, this is probably a really, really nice experience to uh, get to have. But yeah, we have to make the entire habitat look interesting. So we will, uh, we will do that in a minute. There's a lot of rock work again in this habitat. It, it actually took me way longer than expected. So also... One of the reasons that we only did a speed build in this uh, in this video. Uh, normally, I have like 10 minutes of footage for Veluwe Zoo, and I was like, ah, yeah, it's only the water. It's gonna be probably like five minutes, and uh, then we finished up the habitat. So I might do a combination of a tour and a speed build. But then we started the stream, and after like five hours of building, we finally finished up this uh, this habitat and section. So uh, yeah, it, it ended up uh, being a 20 minute uh, or so video anyway. Uh, of course, I, I cut out quite a lot. Oh, there was a uh, was a flying war dog over there. Uh, yeah, I, I did cut out quite a lot, but I don't know. It's uh, yeah, it's 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 still a really nice looking habitat. A lot of details, and I'm happy that we took the time for it. Somehow on stream, it's a bit more relaxed to build. I know that I always feel a little bit of stress once I hit record and um, it feels like you have to do it you no know, right in one go and not really experimenting with the pieces and, and the stuff that we can do and we do do that on stream so I think it's a uh, it's a good way to uh, to improve the builds that we uh, that we do and uh, I will uh, definitely be streaming more and more often I really enjoy it and uh, yeah Apparently people do so as well. We almost reached uh, 300 followers by now, I guess, on uh, on Twitch or 250, something like that. There's already uh, a lot of people over there as well. It's uh, it's really good. Uh, some sunshades. Again, someone on uh, Twitch told me, yeah, there's a there's already a sunshade piece like that. You might be using it. I never seen it, uh, but we're using it right now and chasing the colors a bit to uh, blend it in a little bit better. And as you can see, it's really nice looking modern uh, sunshade that we have over here. And uh, yeah, the animals can uh, can enjoy the shade and uh, will be dry once it's raining. I know normally in a realistic zoo, that would be like an indoor part for these animals as well. But yeah, we will do that in the, in the next project, of course. Um, yeah, it's going to be more and more realism going on over there. Checking the foliage, by the way. Um, yeah, somehow... The Warthog and Ostrich, they don't like the same amount of foliage. So yeah, we have to, uh, yeah, we have to compensate for that a little bit. But I, I think the habitat looks good as it is right now. Only the Ostrich thinks there's a little bit too much foliage in there. But yeah, who cares about that, right? <laughs> um, yeah, finishing off the Wild Dog uh, habitat over here. I removed the fence. I'm finishing it off with this concrete. I think that is the perfect way. To uh, finally end this piece of concrete, you know, uh, make it blend in with this uh, with this viewing area over here, and it looks really good in the end. I'm really happy that we did this, that we changed it, that we made this video a little bit longer, but I still wanted to show you guys what we did here instead of doing it in, like in the final uh, episode or tour. Of course, in the tour you will see the little changes that we made with like the fencing and and all of that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, it's a, a bit more detail going on in the area. I try to um, make everything look more or less the same, you know, use the same fencing and, and stuff like that. It's, uh, it looks much better. I, I, I promise you, I promise you. 
Um, yeah, some final detailing, some stairs over here. I will add some uh, education stuff in the uh, in the viewing area, all the good stuff, and uh, that will be uh, probably it for this video. Uh, the, the time lapse will go on for a few minutes. Then, of course, we will have some uh, nice screenshots from this uh, place that we built. And uh, yeah, that will be it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit the like button. And if you didn't do it already, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you won't miss out on anything new. And I will speak to you guys in the next one. Goodbye.